EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, Madden fans, and welcome to the Madden NFL 12 Playbook. We got six major feature announcements all leading up to the launch of Madden NFL 12 on August 30th. But this year, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We brought in Sam Bradford, Reggie Bush, Darrell Revis, Clay Matthews, and even our Hall of Fame cover athlete, Marshall Falk, to walk you through some of these major, major improvements. And even better, we're doing it inside the Emmy Award winning ESPN Virtual Playbook. So you'll actually get to see us and our favorite NFL players on the field talking about Madden. Enjoy. Authentic pregame presentation was an important aspect of Madden NFL 12 and, and seeing the actual team runouts is a huge part of that presentation. Now I'm here with quarterback Sam Bradford of the St. Louis Rams. Now Sam, what goes through your mind during a pregame? I mean, you got, you're running out of the tunnel. What exactly are you doing? Well, when you run out of the tunnel, there's nothing but pure adrenaline. That's the first time that I think the adrenaline hits me on game day and it really you know, lets me know that it's time to go. What are you guys doing before the game? I mean, you guys meeting as players, talking about the game plan. Just tell me about some of the activities that you guys are doing the moment before you hit the field. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are going on before we take the field, but usually as a quarterback, you know, I like to talk to my wide receivers and my offensive line, you know, just to make sure that we're on the same page, make sure that everything's gone over, you know, twice, three times sometimes, but you know, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. It sounds like a lot of preparation, and of course the intensity of running out in the game day on the game field is incredible. Are there any other NFL stadiums? out there that are just a blast to run out onto. You know, I will say that playing in Seattle is definitely uh, a fun place to play. It's got to be that, that 12th man. The 12th man. You know, they have a great crowd. There's a lot of energy, and it really gets you going as a player. It's good to hear, and the great news is we've got all these different things at Madden NFL 12. We've got the 12th man. We've got authentic stadium runouts. Really makes our presentation package that much more authentic. Madden NFL 12 is all about the sights and sounds of Sunday, and my man, art director Mike Young, is behind all of that action. So, Mike, the last couple years we've been focusing on everything you see on Sunday in between the lines, but this year we're taking it a step further, focusing on outside of the lines, stadium exteriors, blim shots, all of that experience leading up to kickoff, and one of the most exciting parts of that is the actual pregame stadium entrances, and we're in one of the coolest ones right now, Quest Field, home of the 12th man. Tell the people at home what we're about to see here. All right, so we're about to see a five-foot auger hawk. That's, that's a big always, hawk. Yeah, and that always leads the team onto the field. You're going to see players flying behind it, and that's just cool. And, you know, that's what season ticket holders in Seattle, that's what they're used to seeing on Sunday. So when they pick up Madden, they're going to get that experience. But it's not just for them. The Broncos is pretty unique, right? Yeah, the, a lady rides out on a horse, followed by a mascot, flag guys, there's cheerleaders. There's a giant inflatable horse head. We've got it all. Horses are cool. What about the bears? Bears, awesome inflatable, giant bear. Uh, players run out. You know, at the end of that one, they've got a great mascot. He's dancing around. And then the last guy out is going to run out with a flag. So each team's got kind of their unique thing going on. That's awesome. So all 32 teams going to have the pregame intros. Let's talk about those blimp shots. Those are pretty cool. Well, you know, the one thing, you know, we're trying to nail broadcast shot for shot, and you see these things every Sunday when you're watching the games, 15 times a game, and uh, we've got them all the time today, every stadium, they look fantastic, and uh, you know, you got cars driving around, it just looks awesome. It's really cool. Hi, I'm Phil Frazier, here with the two Mikes, Mike Young, our art director for Madden NFL 12, and of course, Mike Vick, starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. We're here to talk about an important aspect of presentation today, and that is player authenticity. Now Mike Vick is here for a reason. There's a number of new aspects to the player that we really want to show off. And the first thing I think I've noticed is, is the helmet right here. Now Mike, Mike Young, what exactly are we seeing on the back of Mike Vick's helmet? Well that's a green dot, which seems small, but it's a big part of the authenticity. So if you're doing a quarterback, they never felt right because they're missing that small little detail. Uh, the cool part is you can zoom all the way into it and you can see the actual sticker Deckle, you know, it's got a lightning bolt and an NFL shield, and it's amazing. What is this? What, what's the sticker there for? Well, the sticker's there. Two players on the field at any one time can have communication with the sidelines. One guy on defense and the quarterback, and uh, that's what it signifies. So it's a small detail, but it's one our fans have asked for for years, and uh, it was just one of the things that we did with the helmets to improve them this year. Well, you talk about degradation, and it's another thing I noticed with Mike Vick right here. There's actually a little bit of uniform degradation, I think. Am I seeing a grass stain on his jersey? It is, and uh, it's n something we've never really you know, represented really well, but um, what we're doing now is every turf type, so if you're on natural grass or turf, or you know, a snow game or a rain game, you're gonna get different types of buildup. With Mike 
here, it looks like we may have some new shoes going on. What do we have as far as shoes in the game, as far as Nike, you know, Under Armour? Do we have all the brands covered? We've got all the brands, but this year, Under Armour is brand new. So we're gonna have Under Armour shoes. Um, and then for the other shoes, we're just gonna update them. So we're gonna have the best and the ones that they're gonna wear this upcoming season. So we've got new Nikes, new Reebok shoes, and then new Under Armours. They've been totally redone. They're double the resolution. And you know, things like shoelaces have been modeled in. And that was really important with the 3D grass, now that we're gonna be showing tighter shots of the feet uh, to make those look even better than ever before. It's interesting because I, I think Mike Vick, I think a guy that's very fit, very fast, but to my eye, right now, he, he looks a little thick. What's going on? All right, Phil. This is the flak jacket. So, he does look bulky in the midsection, but this is a thing we've never gotten right. So you have Drew Brees on our cover last year, and you have all these great screenshots, but it just didn't feel right because all quarterbacks wear a flak jacket. It makes them feel, you know, they have to wear that. It's a very dangerous position. It's protection. It's just protection. Um, so having it now, and the detail on ours is amazing. You can see like the padding and all the details of the padding underneath the jersey as it's, you know, skin tight on them. Details that fans have been asking for, and now the players are gonna feel right. Well, I gotta say, I mean, if, if Mike Vick looks this good, man, NFL 12, that I just can't imagine what the rest of the players in the league look like. And I think our fans are really going to appreciate that level of detail. So again, an important part of presentation, player authenticity, unmatched this cycle, it's really important for us. It was at this stadium just a few months ago where we started our journey to greatly improve the presentation in Madden NFL 12. I'm here with Mike Younger, our director, Giants in the Philadelphia Stadium, and we're going to talk a little bit about the camera improvements made this year. So Mike, back in Philadelphia, what exactly do we do, do, we do in that stadium? Well, we had a, just an amazing experience. We brought the entire design team down to Philadelphia for a game, and uh, they gave us access to everything. So we started in pregame, we were in the director's meeting, the camera meetings, um, got books, sat in the truck during the game. I had access to every camera, every mic. I could hear and see everything. Um, just an amazing thing. And even before the game, going around to every camera position in the stadium, walking around the upper decks, seeing not just where they were, talking to the camera operators, talking to them about what their assignments were, how they planned to shoot the game, and generally, you know, any information technology-wise that we could take back to implement in our game. So it sounds like incredible access, probably access we've never received before in the history of the franchise. Now how did that access actually translate into cameras in the game? For example, how many cameras are used in Philadelphia Stadium? Well, we have 16 cameras that are all authentic to Philadelphia Stadium. Uh, you have your upper end zone cameras, which we're going to shoot things like field goals from. Uh, we have the press box cameras, really what you see a lot on TV, they shoot the game during the action. You know, on 25-yard line, 50-yard line, 25-yard line. We have the crane carts, we have our slash camera, we have our low end zone cameras. And each of these cameras has a very unique function during the game. And, uh, we've got them all. Sounds impressive and I hope our fans appreciate that level of detail. So again, incredible amounts of cameras in our game to make Madden NFL 12 the most authentic looking broadcast ever seen. So there you have it fans, Madden NFL 12 presentation, it's the sights and sounds of Sunday. You saw team runouts, all 32 authentic stadium, team intros, we've got broadcast cameras, so you're going to see the game in Madden just like you would at home at your favorite team stadium. You saw player authenticity taken to a whole new level, everything from the green dots to the back of the helmet to the player and uniform degradation. And there's some things that we didn't even show you yet. We're still holding back. We got dynamic time of day. We've got 3D grass. The bottom line is from Green Bay to grass stains and everything in between, Madden NFL 12 is true to the game. Madden NFL 12. True to the franchise. True to Reggie Bush. True to Clay Matthews. True to Reba Silent. True to the game.